Hi YouTube, this is Latanya coming from Happy Scrapping 45 with the Project Share. I finished my first mixed media uh, coll canvas collage. Um, today was my uh, granddaughter's birthday party. And uh, I first started off doing a uh, postable, I mean um, a canvas of her famous, word, uh, famous words that she always say to us. But that it turned out too good. So I was like, mm mm, gotta do something different. So I started looking through some of my favorite videos and I came across Nurse Tara 04 when she did her first canvas, um, uh, mini, mixed media uh, canvas collage of herself. And I just kept watching it and watching it and seeing the type of things that she had put on her canvas. And I was like, wow, I think I can do this. So. Um, I think she said she got her inspiration for living, living, love scraps and event velocity 01 here on YouTube. But I will put their names to their YouTubes down below. But anyway, this is my canvas. It's a uh, 11 by 14, and I used three different photos of my granddaughter. The very first top one is the one when she was like a, a day old. You know, the ones they take when you in the, when the babies are in the hospital. And that's her father holding her in the palm of his hands. And then the second photo is a picture of my daughter-in-law and, and my granddaughter and my son. And then this one right here is a picture of her by herself. I think she was like 18 months on that one. But she was two on the one with them three together. Okay, so what I did first, like I said, I had a bare white canvas. Uh, 11 by 14. I use some uh, some of this type of paper here, the uh, tissue paper, and I use my Mod Podge and I put that all over um, the canvas to make it like a little texture. I, I forget who I got that idea from, but it was somebody here on YouTube. Believe me, I didn't think of that one. So um, I use the tissue paper, cover the whole canvas with that, with the Mod Podge. Then, uh, once I did that, that's when I used these heart shape, um, you know, the ones that's a heart shape mini album thing that you get from Michaels. I used those for my back and for my pictures to put the three pictures on. And I laid that down first, the, 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 the chipboards. It's shaped like a heart. Then I start um, laying a lot of lace. That I had for my stash that I didn't you know that I used that I didn't use from previous projects, and I just started covering my canvas board with that. And my granddaughter's famous favorite two colors are pink and purple. Now you know she's right on with the purple. So I use a lot of my uh, little flowers that I got from Michaels, the dollar bin, and I cover those with the, around her pictures, all three of them. I use the key at the bottom right here. I use a key from Michael's Dollar Bin. This is one of these glass balls right here. These here. I got these throughout the book. I mean throughout the um the canvas. And I just laid them throughout the canvas. Um uh, this is one of the flowers that I cut from my scissor dies. And this right here is that um the trim. This trim here that I got from Michaels. This trim here. I got that all the way around my canvas. Just got it going all the way around. And then, um, what else did I do? Oh, I used like different things that was in my stash. I used like these Tim Hoax light bulbs. I used some of these. Um, oh, here's one right here. I used dominoes. I used the butterflies. Um, from Martha Stewart. That's a crown there. That's one of Tim Hoke's little uh, embellishments. They got the word. I think this right here got expire on here. This is one of the wood chips purses. Paper clips. This is one of them brackets. This is one of the Tim Hoke's um, these here. I use that throughout the canvas. This is a wood chip up here. One of the fans that you get from the Dollar Bean and Michaels. Here's another light bulb. Here's a flower that I cut out of my uh, scissor die, the um, 
Tim Holtz flour, and then I just um, lined the uh, picture the picture with those uh, those flowers. These right here, these flowers. That's what you see all the way around all three pictures. These flowers here, and I just gesso it with my um, you know with the gesso. And then once I did all that, right here it's a cupcake little embellishment. This is paper clips again. This is a button, one of these buttons right here. Um, like I said, oh, and I also use like a um, screw. Um, Nurse Tara showed that too. I don't think I have one on my bed. Oh yeah, here's one. I use. Uh, where's my camera? Oh man. Yeah, I use a screw, and here's another flower here with a uh, with a braid. Um, and this is this is the the purple spray that I use is the dilution. This one here. I use a dilution. I can think this is the yeah the crushed grape, and that's what I use. Once my canvas has dried, once it had dried with the pink paint, and these are the three pinks that I used. I used all three of these right here, and I mix it up in a cup. I use all these three. Let me tell y'all the names. I'm out of it now. I use this Martha Stewart here. Um, I think this is the name right here. I use that one. I use Americana. I still got a lot of this one. This is the baby pink. I used the Americana bubble gum. And what else did I use? Uh, and then I used this one here. And like I said, I just mixed them all up. <laughs> here go my little mixing bowl, my little mixing cup here. I mixed them all up in this little cup here. And I just used one of those uh, sponges. You know, one of those black sponges that they had on sale this week. And I just dabbed it. And then once I got through with that, once it dried, that's when I came along with my dilution spray. And I covered, I followed um, Nurse Tara's suggestion. I used my baby wipe. Um, and some still got on here, but it's a little bit okay. But I used my baby wipe to cover the picture before I used the spray to spray around it. Because I was trying to tone down that pink. And I really want that purple to show. You know, purple my favorite color. So, whenever I could use purple. Okay, back to this. Well, anyway, uh, like I said, this is my first mixed media collage. And I really like it. It was a lot of fun because it was like, whatever. You could put whatever you want on here. It wasn't no rules or nothing. You just put it on there. And that's what I did. And my main focus was the pictures and... And I think I did okay with that because I got, you know, yeah, so it's cute. I like it. A lot of fun. And I mean, it didn't take me long, you know, just to dry in time. So other than that, so this is my, my granddaughter's one of her birthday gifts um, to go in her room because believe me, she is a daddy's girl and she love her parents. And um, so... They haven't came and pick it up yet because it was still drying when we left to go to the party. So, they haven't seen it yet. So, I hope they like it. Yeah, yeah. So, that's it, you guys. And I will be coming back shortly with another project share. Alrighty. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bye-bye.